see starfish. He's seen coyotes. Both the camels are over here too, which they do normally follow me around, but See if we can try to call them and see if we get a response. Ready, starfish? I don't hear anything. I'll walk down this corridor. This is the camel pasture here. And then I built it away from my other fence here so no one could mess um, with the camels and also allow the passage of other animals to go through without going into the camel pasture. Um, it's also helpful as a catch pen at the end. Um, if I were to walk this llama down, let's say I couldn't get the llama, then I can just stop and, and put a halter on him or what have you. So I'm between that corridor right now. This is the area that I have been seeing coyotes. And it's just good to do a check tonight, especially with the calf, even for um, dogs. Like I said, those dogs um, nearly got one of my sheep and those were not coyotes. They were like Australian Shepherd or Healer mixes, just medium sized average family house pets, but there were four or five of them and yeah. Do you see how that llama is kind of watching starfish to make sure she's okay? That's good. That's what I want her to do to, to keep an eye on dogs. Hi, babes. Oh my gosh, you're not baby. You're Nessie. You know, over the last two years, I've been confusing Nessie and baby more and more. I said, you I don't know why. Are you still growing, Nessie? Because baby, I would say he's way taller. His hump is way taller. He's built more, he's built like an Australian camel because he's an Australian camel. That's what they look like. Um, Nessie is an African camel. She's a Moroccan camel. It look, built totally different. Baby even has curly hair. Nessie has straight hair, but I keep confusing them lately. I don't know. Starfish seems to give off her coyote patrol, and if I yip like that, as bad as my yipping might be, they usually do call back if they're in the area. We'll walk the llama down to the end of the safety corridor, and uh, I'm gonna go back inside for the night. I'm done out here a little early. Usually I finish everything just right as it's completely dark. Wait, listen, listen. Not that, that's the lamb, or I'm sorry, baby goat. I usually raise sheep, so I'm very unused to saying goat or kid. This is actually the first kid I've ever raised, human or goat. But listen, if you listen really closely, you might be able to hear that's the water buffalo calling for me. They make a very unusual sound. They almost sound like an elk. Do you hear that? That's the... Well, Nessie's having a good time. So what I would do to catch this llama, and I have unusual practices with animals. Don't really 
go by what books I go by, what works for me, and I'm kind of, I guess you could say, resourceful. So I, I would just pick up what I have out here. I don't carry a stick or a crook. Bomb it's at the end of the corridor. This one's a better size length, so we'll get rid of this one. Just use what's around. I mean, people have been doing this for, for centuries. And I'd come up to him, bar him closer, closer, closer. And now he's stuck. And if I were gonna try to get him, which I'm not, so I'm not gonna bother him, then I'd grab him and I'd halter him. And that's just another example of just like the ingenuity you can have. But I'm not actually going to hold him hammer and, and use him for something. I'm not going to, you know, put him through that. Not that it's putting him through a lot. Llamas are a little bit like cats. They, um, you know, once you have them, they're nice and friendly, but they kind of, you have to have them first. Nice, beautiful sky. All right, I'm going in. So I have to get up very early to care for the calf. Um, as I walk by the pen, I'll do a last shot on him just to show you him. Here comes Nessie towards me. Because it's wet and I smell like um, a buffalo that she hasn't met yet, I guarantee you if I was to walk towards her now, she'd come running at me, bucking me off. Uh, that sounded like I said something else, but I didn't. So, you know, I'd rather not deal with that. So instead of going straight through this open area here and dealing with her possibly knocking into me, which I guarantee you um, she's kind of, in a way, faking me out by eating that. She wants me to walk past her. I'm always tempted to do it to show you. I hear she's kind of coming closer. But, you know, when you're with an animal enough and you watch them enough, it's best to just, just walk away. She's, she's feeling giddy. It's kind of like having a wet dog. It's all wet and rainy out. So I'm taking an alternate route. I'll take the path of least resistance. Let me sit by this tree for a second, we'll see. Oh, I'm bad. I can't resist seeing if she's going to do it now. Keep this tree behind me and her. Let's see if I can get out the front. Oh yeah, she's definitely gonna do it. That's an example of just, just know your animal, especially when you're working with, camels aren't wild animals, they're domesticated, but with any animal, just watch what they're doing. Animals are very, very smart. She wanted to have a little fun with me there. And, um, you know, I just don't want to deal with that because um, when you get in a situation like that, here she comes towards me. Uh, so know, know your animals, whether it's a dog, cat, gerbil, whatever, uh, know them and, you know, avoid getting hurt or just not, not even that you're going to get hurt, but just avoid putting yourself in a bad situation. I don't want to end today on a bad note. Because if she had bucked and come at me, I would have had to stand my ground against her. And I don't want to get into that with her, so just walk away. The wire, she's, that's hot right there, and she's even going under it. Starfish, you might be on your own or might have to lift you up. She'll run off starfish, too. She's just, she's just afraid. We help the starfish over. There you go. And you see, there's always been a bit of a, a bit of a bit. I watch this, she'll run down, sure. And that's what she would have done. She would have charged me.
at Shadow the Raven in the background. Let's go. All right, goodbye. Thanks for watching as always. And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you thinking? Just subscribe. Look at this face. Subscribe to this face.